Eleven o'clock should be on there. And Thursday at five a.m. Five. No, I'm not sure I'm tempted. That's why I was asking. That's why you had some good stuff for me on the last show. It was eleven a.m. Da 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 da. Da da. How much TV do I watch a day? Not a lot, especially since I got the PVR DVR where I, I pick the shows and record them directly. Now it's probably uh, between half an hour and an hour and a half, but that means I can probably watch five or six shows because when, the, when they're on the PVR, I can just fast forward through everything. Dave Chalk Connected is brought to you by TELUS. The future is friendly. No, for me watching TV, it really is a sit back and relax living room experience. I think there'll come a time when I, I may use a portable one. I think there's great applications and I think there's people out there that can take tremendous advantage of it. But for me, when I plunk down on the couch, I've usually got one kid in one side and one on the other and it's a sit back, relax thing. Do you have a printer access here? I do, yeah. Can you get me a quick print off uh, DLP, how it works? You bet. Of course that one doesn't work. And this printer is hooked up to this computer. So I have to find Jan, our technical guy, so I can get the info for Dave. Excuse me. What we had to do was kill our VPN access to the main office. So now we should be able to get into the main access to the internet. DLP uses millions and millions of tiny mirrors, but it's quite technical. And we've done a bunch of research on it, but now Dave just wants a quick refresher and uh, to, uh, a bit more info than he's got right now. One of the, the fascinating things about both Dave and Mike is that you can give them information at virtually the last minute, they can read it for 90 seconds and have it all in there, and then they're good to go. See, that's me. I've heard that too many times. You know, one of the big challenges people have, I'll turn right around, that people have these days is buying a new TV. You know, it used to be that you go into an electronics store, pick the cabinet and the size of the screen, and you pretty well knew what you were going to get. All of that has completely changed these days, wouldn't you say? I would say because, uh, especially with DVDs and movies now, you want as big a screen as possible so you get that cinema experience. And you want the screen, and then you've got to look at the technology inside of it. Many people confused about which way to go. Do they go for the big flat plasma you put on the wall or a, a TV that you would put on a stand on the ground? Well, let me give you a little bit of a rundown on what we're looking at here. This is the Toshiba Talon a new technology from Toshiba and the wide rear projection. I'll explain that in just a minute, but we'll put Mike on the spot. Talon is? Toshiba Advanced Light Engine. Okay, see, they've even made an acronym out of it, and it actually works well. Now, if you're thinking about large screen, the most cost-effective way to go is rear projection, meaning there's a light source at the back and bottom. Light is reflected up to the back side of the television versus a plasma, one of the larger ones that you could mount on the wall. Very thin, but very pricely. Here you're looking under $5,000. You'd be looking at more than ten dollars to $12,000 for the same size screen in a plasma. One of the other nice things about a TV like this is it's a very bright screen, as you can see. Very good picture definition. And this is using a technology called DLP, Digital Light Processing, that was developed by Texas Instruments in the 1980s and now full force in TVs that we find in the home. This is a remarkable technology. Just to explain it briefly, you're looking at a tiny microcircuit, a chip, with more than a million tiny mirrors on it, one-tenth the size of a human hair, all hinged. A computer actually controls the reflection of those mirrors. Each one has a tiny part of the screen it must reflect up to. So you can imagine that chip is just spinning those tiny little mirrors. As the light bounces from a light source off of that, a spinning wheel out in front turns very quickly and varies the color from red, green, and blue that will shine up onto the back side of the screen. You can imagine, it seems impossible to do, but this is the result of that sort of technology. So DLP, a powerful technology giving you a great picture and a low-cost way of getting a large screen. This is great. It's got two TV tuners built in, so you can get that picture-in-picture -picture display. But the big thing is the whole high-definition. You can hook up a high-definition tuner to this and get some of those channels from the cable company that are available now, and you get that clear, crisp 16 by 9 image. And that is what it's really all about, is the large format, the surround sound coming from the speakers in this, and, of course, 
the engine that is controlling the entire thing. And Taking, super, super light, too, for the size. This yes, is this is one unit. of the shocking things. The depth on this, I don't know if we can get if we can get our spare camera going up to the side. If you can move your backside away there for a second, Mike. You'll see very narrow. There is a light source at the bottom that is reflecting up through a lens and shining on the backside. So if there is some confusion about the technology, plasma, very good for mounting on the wall, but a narrow depth like this Toshiba Talon is a great way to get the cost down and still get a great picture. One other thing I wanted to show, I don't know how we're going to get this, but on the back of this TV, this is the HDMI cable that I'm going to talk about a little later in today's show. This TV actually has, when we tilt it forward, oops, flipped it right around, it has two HDMI inputs right here. HDMI is the new digital interface that allows you to connect both the audio and the video from most all of new technology products coming to the marketplace. So if nothing else, you want to make sure you get an HDMI interface. I just realized when I was talking about those tiny little mirrors on the DLP, the 1.3 million of them, they're actually one-fifth the size of a human hair, not one-tenth. So if I screwed you up with that, my apologies. <laughs> well, I, uh, I picked up my water bottle. And Tristan had been so nice to write my name on it so I wouldn't miss it. We've been working for the last 20 minutes to get the non-erasable marker off my hands. But we may, we may have to go like this. We're going to use Google. We're going to do a search and find out how do you remove permanent marker ink off someone's flesh. Surprisingly enough, you get results. Google everything. Is, uh, is eating a sport? Is playing video games a sport? It should be. I would play, if I had to pick a sport, women's volleyball. I think it's discriminatory that men can't play on women's beach volleyball teams. And I'd like to be the first man to do that. Uh, punch, whatever you call it. So it's called the Spherix RX2. Yeah. The latest in chair technology. That's great. Bradley segment length, one minute. One second. Uh, two minutes, I have. Take nine, marker. Boom, 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 and action. Well, if you know me, I'm all about video games, DVD movies. And what better way to make them even better? Surround sound. But who wants the hassle of wiring up the house with all the speakers and the wires when you can have it all in one chair? This is a Spherix RX2, and believe it or not, this is a 5-1 surround chair that you hook up to your TV and your video game system and DVD player, and it courses the sound through you. It's got 5.1 digital surround sound speakers built right into the whole chair here and something called the butt kicker tactile transducer. Yes, that is a feature, but it's actually pounding sound right through my butt right now. I don't know if that's a good thing, but you can feel it. The chair is 2,000 bucks, but if you're into video games and movies, it might be a good investment for you. And this is one of the few chairs that I've seen that actually has a remote control to control everything. It's got a control panel on the side, so you can adjust all the different speaker levels, the sound, whatever you want. So if you want to take your video gaming or your movies to the next level, why not try a chair that puts the sound through you? And you remember those uh, surround sound speakers that Dave showed for the Xbox last time? It's the same technology built into the back of this chair. Believe it or not, you can hook up all sorts of audio inputs. Everything from the uh, optical inputs, co coaxial, and even RCA. And remember that butt kicker tra uh, tactile transducer I was talking about? Right here. So this thing here is the thing that's pumping all that sound right through the entire chair. Crazy, yes, but uh, some people, they got 2,000 bucks. Let me show you a little secret about getting a better picture on your TV. You may not have to invest in completely new equipment. Sometimes we just don't connect using the right cable or really the connector on the back of the device. If you've got a PVR or a new DVD player, you shouldn't be using this connector. This is the old-fashioned RCA, and it really doesn't have good picture quality, even seeing the thickness of the cable. The other two connectors here are to carry the audio up. Well, what was the next progression after that? It was the S-Video cable. This has the picture quality and information about the brightness of the picture, making it look a lot better on the TV. But you still need separate cables to bring the audio up. Progression from this was the component connector. This actually separates this signal into three separate cables so there's less interference. Again, it deals with the color and the brightness. But by separating it out with less interference, you get a better picture. 
you still need separate cables to get the audio. And if you're starting to use the new 5 or 7.1 digital, it means a heck of a lot of cables. So when devices went digital, the DVD players and the TVs like this one here, we brought out a new connector called the DVI, the Digital Video Interface. Keeps everything digital and it does a good job, but still it didn't carry the audio and that's coming down to a lot of cables these days. So here's the one you're looking for when you buy a new device or a new TV. Make sure it has this, an HDMI connector. This can carry up to five gigabytes per second, meaning 7.1 surround sound and HD TV. You know, if you were to connect with this, you'd be looking at a pretty bad picture. You connect with this, and you're really getting what you put your money out for, a great picture. So watch the cables. Who do I like watching sports? Well, I could qualify it this way. A lot more than Mike, but not a lot. I hate sports. I hate watching sports on TV. I don't get it. I'm probably going to get bombarded with emails now, but watching sports on TV, it's, it's, it's boring. I'd rather watch people eating cow intestines. That's, that's entertainment. Well, if your den or living room looks anything like this, there is finally a workable solution. There have been a number of universal remote controls in the marketplace that would say they would replace all of these, but they've been very difficult to program. Until, until now, this one called Harmony Remote, recently purchased by Logitech, so probably a, a name we can trust. Different in the sense that you don't program the remote control. You actually go to their website, harmonyremote.com. There you just click off all the different devices you own in your home, from your PVR to your DVD player, and literally push all these aside. Once done, hook this up to the USB port of your computer, plug it into the end of, remote, of the remote control, and everything transfers off the website, and you have total control with the remote. There's a number of different versions available, ranging from about $200 to $250. There is even a Windows Media Center one, which right out of the box controls your Windows Media Center. So definitely some good options. This one even comes with a number of different colored faceplates. So if you are really, once and for all, trying to get a universal remote and don't want to have to sit for hours configuring it, try out the Harmony. off a permanent marker still trying to get it off we've been working on this for nearly an hour we even had a take in the middle of it i had to stop filming because my ham became the main segment <laughs> ink off of skin i think isn't there a chewing gum thing where you just rub chewing gum on it and it comes off or something to remove the red from dave's hands i would say you should use a natural bristle brush works for me, getting stamps off my hand when I go clubbing. Well, many of us turn immediately to television when we want sports and entertainment, but don't forget about radio. It's been around since the late 1800s, and the first radio broadcast was in the early 1920s. It is a good alternative to television. It's great when you're in the car traveling, but more often than not, your favorite show or something you would like to listen to isn't there when you're beside the radio. We'll take the company Griffin, who have now invented what we call TiVo for the radio. How about recording it directly to your hard drive and playing it back when you want to listen to it? This is the Radio Shark, quite an aesthetically pleasing device, I might add. For about $90, it also comes with software that you can load into a PC Windows-based system or a Mac-based system as we have here today. And the whole idea, time shift recording. Pick your station, pick the show you want to record, voila, it's stored digitally on your computer. Nice thing about this is many of the shows that would typically be on in times when you're not available are now all captured by your computer. It's cool, it's super easy interface. It's just like having a radio right on your uh, Mac or your PC. And I can change from the band from AM to FM. And that's kind of the cool thing. A lot of these radio tuners that you can get for your uh, PC or Mac, they only are FM based, including Microsoft Windows Media Center. Well, Windows Media Center does have the ability to record off the radio. It doesn't include the antenna, which is obviously a key component of this, which is allowing us to get those weak signals, but also the fact that it does capture AM. And for the sports fanatics out there or the radio show fanatics, you know, that's where you're going to get most of the content. Well, then you go into the scheduling. This is cool because I have a radio show that I do every Saturday. Let's plug it. Let's plug it big time. 
and now I can have it recorded right onto the hard drive. And you just don't have to listen it to it on your Mac or your PC. You can then burn those, uh, those audio files onto a CD and listen to them in your car. And as I've said many times on this show, when I got my first digital video recorder for TV, it changed my world because I record the shows I want, I blow off the commercials, I w listen back when I want to listen back and watch it. Well, now the same thing applies to radio. There's a lot of great shows out there on radio that we don't even have an opportunity to listen to. If you're interested in recording those, hook up your computer to your home stereo, play them back. You think you're listening to live radio. Radio Shark is a great way to do it. Reasonable price. Works on a Mac and a PC. I don't know. This one, I think I like it. <laughs> I think I like it. Actually, I do like it. This is, this is good. Where did we get this one? Is it, it's available in Canada right now? Yeah, this is good. How are we good? This is a make work Listen? project. Yeah. Every time right. I touch the table, we have to have a cleanup crew come in and polish it for 10 minutes. <laughs> Carrie, somebody yeah. smudged the table. <laughs> You great. boys. Four fingers. I didn't, touch it. I didn't touch it. This is, I respect you, unlike Never again. that other guy. <laughs> my big passion was skiing or snowboarding. Mike would love to rub that into my face because, you know what, that guy, if I ask him to do something, he will purposely miss out on all the opportunity of doing it just so he cannot do what I ask him to do. In the winter, I, I like eating, uh, sleeping. And skiing. I'm a pretty good skier. I've been skiing since I was six years old. Dave, he likes to snowboard. He's always trying to convince me to go snowboarding, but I'm not going to do it. Just, just for the fact that he's trying to push me to do it. Well, if it's a really tough instinct, I find the only way to take it off skin is pretty much razor blades. Cucumber juice. And razor blades. Cucumber juice. Bradley? Stop. You're both right. Bradley. <laughs> ink from skin, hairspray. Hairspray removes ink from clothing, skin, everything. The best is the cheap hairspray, too. <laughs> the cheaper, the better. Final solution. We, we can't get it off. We're going to spray it out. We're using flesh color, and no one's going to know it's there. You know, at the end of the day, it all comes down to content. If you have got yourself a new high-definition big screen TV, you've got to watch something on it. Whether it be sports or your favorite movie, you've got to get that content into your home. Let's show you two solutions from Bell Express View. Completely different concepts. One is focusing on HD TV, getting you the high resolution, great content. And the other one we'll look at is their new PVR Plus, which is a dual tuner PVR. This is their 6100 series HD TV satellite receiver, and this is important. Lots of people have gone out and bought these big, widescreen televisions, but you're truly not getting the full picture out of it. Bell Express View actually has 20 dedicated high-definition channels, and uh, by simply going to the guide, you can see them. They're deno denoted by the, uh, the HD there, and again, that means high-definition. Mm -hmm. What that means is that you're going to get the full 16 by 9 panoramic uh, image and also if they're broadcasting in surround sound 5.1 surround sound you can have your speaker set up to take advantage of that as well and we've talked about it before that an HD picture is nearly 10 times the resolution of a regular television picture so you know do yourself a favor if it's all about the content and you've got an HD TV you've got to upgrade your receiver and Bell's certainly one of the ways you can go there's many options out there around four hundred dollars now the other solution, which is not available in HD, but what you are getting from this unit is a PVR, personal video recorder, meaning you're recording the shows and literally time shifting. You're able to watch the show when you want to watch it. A few things about it, well, I guess about $600 in price. I think you can put a deal together for about $30 a month in a, in a rent to use. Connects up to your television, comes with two remote controls. Now, the remote controls are pretty straightforward. If we can flip the TV over, two interesting things and two very important buttons here. One is the guide, giving you your regular guide selection. By scrolling out, looking for any show that you want to record, and hitting the select button, it will have the unit record it. It can record up to about 120 hours of content. Once your content has been recorded, the nice next button you use, and this is the main one you'll use after that, because once you've set the PVR, it'll go off on its merry way and record every day all of your favorite shows, is the PVR button itself. Bringing that up now shows you a selection of all the shows that you have available. And in the future, you literally just scroll down through there to pluck up any show you want. Now remember, while you're watching regular TV, you have all the pause, the stop, the fast forward, all the way up to 300 times fast forward. 
a great way to skip through all the commercials. Interesting thing too, there are two remote controls. This one is uh, infrared, meaning it's line of sight, and this one is an RF, radio frequency, works up to about 200 feet, because this PVR has two tuners, meaning you can record one show, watch another, record two different shows, or wire this unit into another room, as I've set up over here with a whole different TV, but if you're in that room with a remote control, it better go a long way. So over here, you use the RF remote control, which will control the second tuner out of the box, and you can merrily watch two different shows right through the system. Again, new TVs, get the good content out there. I've got a choice between HD and PVR. I'm sure in the near future, both of these units will be combined into one, but for the time being, you do have to make that selection. I know. Yeah, the only. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna get one of these. I think the frustrating thing for me is obviously we need to combine these. You could use both of the units together, but there's I, not enough no, HD channels yet. I've said it. Yeah, I know. I've said it in shows. I, once I got my once I got my PVR, I would never go back because this screen here, you see, you don't have to worry about everything that's on. You pick the shows that you want, and you're just scrolling through that happily, watching anything you want to watch. I could record all the shows that I'm on and watch them again and again and again. People would think I have a large TV, but no, it's, I guess it's medium. It's probably a, a 36 inch rear projection. I like it. I don't want it to take over the whole living room. Yeah, I've got a couple big TVs. Big, big is better. Don't let them tell you any different. Dave Chalk Connected is brought to you by TELUS. The future is friendly. I think anyone that uses any sort of drug to get ahead in sports should be punted and the metal should be taken away under all circumstances. What motivation does somebody have to do things the right way when somebody can get away with doing it the wrong way and be rewarded for doing it? I've got zero tolerance on that. I got five one surround sound coming out of my butt, out of my butt, out of my butt. <laughs> yeah, it's airbrushed them perfect. Look at that. We don't use paint. Perfection. I'm all about pleasure, especially when it comes to the surround. <laughs> okay. You know, this behind the scenes thing seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> now, I don't know. Are you having second thoughts? Whose idea was this? <laughs> this is a Dave guy. 